Hello drummers and other creatures. In this video, we're going to be taking a look at another fabulous Afrobeat groove. This time it's Tony Allen playing on Water No Get Enemy by Fela Kuti, which is one of my favorite tracks at the moment. It has a great horn riff hook thingy uh, and it's got a kind of really laid back feel to it. It's quite jolly, I say, I suppose, but it's one worth learning. It's a really cool groove. And what we're going to be doing is we're going to be looking at one of four methods that can really help anybody learn a pattern, uh, whether it's a groove or a fill. But I have uh, four main methods I use with my hundreds of students that I've taught over the years to put grooves together in a sort of, you know, at least reasonably sensible way that can help to sort of get around a lot of the obstacles that we have when we're learning patterns. And obviously learning patterns for drummers is one of the main things. So instead of doing my usual demonstration, I'm just going to jump straight in and show you how we use the separate limbs method to learn a groove. As I say, you can apply it to anything at all you want to learn. Now, by separate limbs, what I mean is we're going to play the whole pattern, give or take, with individual limbs and put it together step by step. In this case, let's start with the hi-hat, because why not? We have the what I call a straight swing on the hi-hat in this groove. We're going to play one, and a two, and a three, and a four, and a, an eight and two sixteenths, like so. That should be straightforward enough. If you're not used to playing that pattern, just sit with it for a little bit. Count along one, and a two, and a three, and a four, and a. And try and play the hi-hat with a light touch. We don't want to bash away at the thing as if we we're auditioning for Metallica. Now the next thing I'm going to add is the hi-hat with my foot on the ands. Whichever foot you happen to be using, go for it. I'm going to use my left foot, but it goes like this. One. And I'm going to combine that with my hand pattern. And in the sort of fairly typical Tony Allen style of things, um, we're opening and closing the hi-hat, but we're not producing an open sound. So I'm getting the chick sound from my foot, but I'm playing in such a way as to not make the stick play an open sound. So we're not getting that sort of disco pea soup thing happening. Sounds like this. Now, I'm playing that heel up. For me, that's the only way I can control at the moment to get that sound you know, reasonably right. Um, Tony Allen insists that you must play heel down. And I understand that he kind of wants to get a hi-hat sound that doesn't feel too kind of clenchy, I guess. And um, you sort of have a slightly uh, looser, splashy sound when you do want to, to open the cymbals. I can't quite get that right myself yet. Uh, if I play with my heel down, I get too much of an open sound with the stick. Uh, but you can use heel up or heel down. I'm trying to get the hang of the heel down thing out of respect for the master, but let's see what happens with that. Hmm, seems to be working for me now. Maybe at faster speeds it's not so good. Okay, but that's the, the hi-hat part. Now, we're going to add the snare. The snare plays on the number in the E. One E, two E, three E, and then on the four, just the E. And don't worry, I'm providing some written information so that you can follow this, uh, you know, with uh, notation. You don't have to worry about just absorbing everything uh, through your eyes and ears. So check the description box and download or link to whatever I've, I've written there. Um, okay, so the snare's going Okay, now when we're playing Tony Allen grooves in particular, you've got to play with the butt end of the stick, otherwise the Afrobeat police will come and get you. Let's see if we can add that to the hi-hat pattern. Get the hi-hat going first a little bit, and then think about it and see if you can get the snare drum to join in without complaint.
there we go. Finally, let's see if we can add the bass. Throughout most of the song, the bass is going to be on the R of the three and the and of the four. And in the first bit, we don't hear this very much. There's a little bit of bass drum coming in sometimes on the E of the two that coincides with one of the snare drum strokes. But when we get a little bit into the song, uh, it, it becomes the regular pattern. But to start with, let's just put the bass drum on the R of the three and the and of the four. Uh, on its own, it sounds like this. And so on and so on. I think it's better if we play it with the other limbs. Uh, maybe we just start with the R of three uh, and then we can add the and of four once we feel satisfied that that's going all right. Let's see. There we go. Let's get that going again. Play, 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 play. Make yourself comfortable. But this time around, I'm gonna play that pattern. And when I'm feeling okay, I'm gonna add the bass on the two E. Again, it goes with the snare drum note. So make sure you coordinate that as best you can. Let's see. Good, feeling good. Finally, let's think about, can we play this at the speed of the song yet? If not, keep playing it. But every time you sit down and put it together, have a go at playing, at least at the end of your practice period, have a go at playing along to the, the song. You can stick the song on itself or just try and remember what the tempo is. In my head. Hit, do. And mm, mm, uh. Why do I do that? It's like, oh, I'm inhabited by a demon or something. It makes me want to play a crash. There you go. There you have it. That's how we learn how to play an Afrobeat groove, in this case, Water Noga Enemy, using the separate limbs method, one of four amazing methods for learning patterns on the drum kit in general. Um, that would be that. Thank you very much for watching this. If you watched it and learned something from it, please let me know. If you watched it and didn't learn something from it, please let me know. The comments below are yours to say what you like. Um, meanwhile, uh, do all that nice liking and subscribing stuff. If you'd like to be kept aware of uh, my future videos, there's quite a lot of stuff accumulating on my channel and more to come. We're gonna be doing more Afrobeat, that's for sure, various other topics. But please let me know if there's something you're interested in hearing my perspective on. Meanwhile, you can go off and practice.